I've been asked about my hair products that I am currently using on my hair. So I figured I would put together this video to show you all my products. I do want to caution you all that I am probably the most unfaithful person to products because I am a bit of a product junkie and I do like to change my products, you know, every few months, especially when I finish them. I usually won't go back to that product because I have bought other products and I'm trying to really be diligent about using up my products. So I'm going to go through what I do have and what I've been using on a consistent basis at least and then I'll show like the other products that I have that I have not gotten to but I do plan on getting to them. So let's start with the shampoos that I have. I've talked about this in previous videos. This is the Cream of Nature with Argan Oil from Morocco. It's a sulfate-free shampoo. Uh, it's supposed to be for moisture and shine, and it also hydrates and detangles the hair. I love how this makes my hair feel when I'm washing my hair with this. I feel like it does help with detangling some. I feel like it gives me a lot of added slip to my hair. And if you've been with my channel for a long time, you know I have problems with detangling my hair, and so I love this product. It really helps. I don't like the conditioner that goes with it, so I gave it to my sister, so you will not see that in this video. This is my other shampoo that I have. I've talked about this. I've had this for a very long time, maybe three years. Uh, this is the Moisture Fusion Milk Bath, and it is by Mazzani. Uh, very good shampoo on my hair. It's, it's a sulfate-free shampoo also. It doesn't strip my hair. Very moisturizing to my hair. It doesn't really give me any slip. I just feel like it's very moisturizing to my hair, so I, I still like to use it. These are the only two shampoos that I have. I do not have a clarifying shampoo. I really don't clarify my hair. Uh, I use the little bottles of shampoo that I get from a hotel if I feel like I need to clarify my hair. And I'll add some water to them just to kind of dilute them so that they're not too strong and strip my hair. So, for conditioners, I have these packets of conditioners. I've talked about this in previous videos. I love the olive oil replenishing packs, but like I said before, they have changed the formula on these. And so when I found out that the formula was changing, I ran out and bought like all the packs that I found in the store. I'm down to only two. So I try to preserve these and really use these when I can. I haven't used them in a while because I've been using other products. So I only have two left. Uh, and instead of using these, I've been using this Gyreno product that I got in December. So I've been using this for the past like five months. It really goes a long way. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way. It's very good. And I swear, as soon as it hits my hair, it melts like, it's like butter, man. This stuff is nice. It's a really good product and I love using this stuff. So, uh... I am continuing to use this on my hair because I really like it. So this is the hair mask, the coconut avocado infused hair mask. I've talked about this like two videos ago. Uh, other conditioners, I have this VO5. I use this VO5 when I pre-poo my hair or when I do some detangling to my hair. Uh, I have like conditioners that I have to keep on hand where I can just use a lot of it because I am heavy handed with my product. This allows me to be heavy handed. This is about a dollar and I was using the Tresemme Naturals also. I still like to use that. I just ran out and just grabbed this. Again, I'm unfaithful to products so I like to swap them up every now and again. I think it's good for my hair too when I change products up. Uh, I do have the sister conditioner that goes with the Mazzani shampoo. This is the Moisture Fusion Silk Cream Conditioner. Love this stuff. Again, very moisturizing for my hair. Uh, softens my hair. I love to use this stuff on my hair. And they smell really good too. So, Protein conditioners. I've been using this one as my go-to. The Organics by Africa's Best hair mayonnaise. I uh, like this stuff in my hair. It has egg protein in it and it's for like to, to, to treat weak or damaged hair. So this is a really good one for me. It's been working wonders. Uh, it does have these like little herb particles in it that do get like kind of caught in my hair if I don't wash them out really good. So I've been using this when I need like a like a heavy impact type of protein and I'll sometimes rinse my hair with um, 
with the English tea, with the with the black tea rinse, I'll do like a black tea rinse, you know, to accompany this. When I just need like a light protein or I don't have time to really sit and just let it sit on my hair for like hours, I'll, I, I've been using this, this, this uh, hair repair by Gyreno. And I actually like this stuff too. I mean, again, it smells really good. And this stuff makes my hair really soft. I'll put a cap on. Uh, again, for this one, I think you need to sit up under a dryer though for it to really work. So I do like to sit up under my dryer for about 10 or 15 minutes. Let it penetrate my hair strands and I am usually good to go. So uh, for some other conditioners that I have, these are more detangler type of conditioners. I have the Don't Be So Clingy. Don't Be So Clingy by Love Naturals. Uh, if you are subscribed to Kim A Tube channel, which a lot of people are, I've been using this as my detangler. Um, it really helps to detangle. It it has reduced some time on my hair, but hasn't like cut it in half by like 50% or anything like that. I still have to finger detangle. It doesn't really make it easy for me to use a comb, but this helps at least it cuts down some time. So I'm happy to cut down any time on my hair when I'm detangling. And another detangle that I have is this Not On My Watch. This Not On My Watch by Aunt Jackie's. Uh, this makes my hair really soft. It does give me some slip. Um, I think this is better though personally, but I'm, I'm going to use this up. I paid like $13 for this, paid $5 for this, but I'm trying to preserve this because it is so expensive and you have to pay for shipping and things like that. So what I try to do in the midst of that is use this to kind of counteract having to use so much of that. So on to my oils. I have a lot of oils. Uh, have my olive oil here. I use this when I want to pre-poo my hair. I use this when I'm doing something where I'm going to wash it out or I need to mix it up heavily with like other oils to kind of make it easier to get into my hair. I have my other olive oil. This uh, Vita Lay olive oil. I've talked about this in other videos. This has really been my go-to olive oil. I love it. I love the way it smells. Uh, it's mixed with other oils. It's not just olive oil. So it is a mixed oil. So I use this more of when I'm styling my hair when I'm doing the lock method. I have my grapeseed oil that I use as like a heat protectant. Some of you told me that using this was a very good heat protectant. So I've been buying this to put in my hair and I also use this to cook. It's <laughs> pulling double duty. Not gonna lie. So is this olive oil. I have my castor oil. Use this when I'm making my scalp mixture. I have two oils that I mix up on my own. I mix up a scalp mixture that is only for my scalp and then I mix up my own hair oil that I put on my hair sometimes. So have that. I have my tea tree oil which I put into my scalp mixture. Uh, my husband doesn't like how this smells, so I have to be careful when I use this and not use too much. I purchased some vanilla type of oil to put into it so that I can kind of camouflage the smell a little bit so it doesn't irritate my husband's nose. I have my emu oil that I mix in my scalp oil. Emu oil is supposed to be good for hair loss, alopecia. Most of these oils are targeted really towards hair loss or alopecia or some type of scalp condition. So that's why I prefer to use these. I thought that this was 100% emu oil, which it says on the bottle, but it is not. It is mixed with vitamin E oil, which I'm okay with. I like vitamin E oil. I started off using that in my hair, so I don't mind using it. Uh, two other oils. These are um, really good for hair loss. One is rosemary and thyme. That's this one. I bought it from, I bought both of these from Hose Food and this one is, uh, Texas Cedarwood. Uh, these are like the tea tree oil where they are very potent. Uh, you have to mix them with other oils like carrier oils. These are classified as essential oils because their potency are so strong. They can burn the scalp. They can have very damaging effects to your scalp. So you have to mix these with like olive oils or even castor oil, but olive oil would be the most ideal because it is a carrier oil and it can help penetrate the scalp a lot better or coconut oil. I do have coconut oil that uh, I haven't used it in a while, but I still have it because I've been using these other oils. I will be going back to my coconut oil. Uh, I have the Mazzani Supreme Oil. This oil I don't really use in my hair unless... 
um, I'm taking down Twist. This oil is very light. It does give shine. I like it because it is light and I'm able to take my twist out and keep my hair from fraying or getting frizzy at the ends. And it's light on my hair so it doesn't weigh down my hair. So when I want really big hair or go for volume, I use this to separate my hair. Uh, another oil that I like is this oil here. This is the Softy Growth Oil. I'm I'm actually finished with this oil, but I keep the bottle to mix up my other hair oils. But this one is one of my favorite oils that I purchased that, that's mixed already. It's really good. I think it actually works for growth. I've used this for years, and people always ask me, you know, what I'm using for growth oils. I don't really, per se, believe in growth oils, but I do buy them. So... I guess in my mind, I'm hoping that they do work, but I'm not just going to put a lot of faith into a growth oil or a pill or something like that. You know, I'm not going to knock them and say that they don't work, but I'm also not going to be like, yes, this is some growth oil. It really works. But I'm hoping that because of the ingredients, they have very good ingredients for growing the hair, you know, things like that. So I'm hoping that the ingredients, because they are really good, that they are working. So I do still use them so I definitely encourage you all to still use them even though you know you may not see some drastic growth from them they probably are really helping your hair to either maintain some length so you're growing it longer or just helping your hair with this condition in general uh, another oil that I have is this jojoba oil I use this when I mix up like my Kimmy tube leave-in uh, or when I mix up like a rendition of it where I'll make my own kind of the same principle with the same ingredients I may use a different oils something like that I don't buy kinky custard because I don't really like it I don't think it works on my hair so I don't use that as a base for my leave-in when I make the Kimmy tube I'll use another leave-in product such as uh, Karen's Body Beautiful Last oil, this is a growth serum oil. I think this is a really good oil, another off the shelf uh, product that I do like to buy. I had stopped buying this for a while only because it was hard to find in my area, but I did find another beauty supply store that does sell this. So, but since I have these other oils to mix up, I'm gonna try to use up what I have first before I go out buying anything else. I need to get rid of some of these products. So when I make my new batch of scalp oil, I had it mixed in here. When I make my new batch, I will be putting it back in here because I have like this much left. I have enough for maybe two applications. It is quite, I would say quite strong. A little, a few drops go a long way, honestly, of this stuff. So I have enough for maybe two more applications and I have to mix up another batch. So when I make that, I will share.